Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Bart, our owner. Bart, what's your last name? Bart Erosian. Bart Erosian and Justin, our builder, Justin Nichols. Justin Nichols. And Justin, tell us, let's get you right off the bat. We're gonna be seeing it's My Car Story, but every now and then, something comes a little bit out of the ordinary which catches my attention. So here's a pickup. We haven't done many pickups. Justin, first of all, tell us your fabrication company. Let me give you a quick uh, jump in right there. Yeah. Go ahead. I own Nichols Paint and Fab in Watsika, Illinois. It's about two hours south of Chicago here. We built this truck in seven months. Seven months, which is why you've got the beard. You haven't slept because you shut basically the shop down to put yep. this truck together. Yeah, we shut the shop down to build this truck. Just for the world of wheels? Yep. Yep, and Bart, when you when did you find this truck? I found it about a year ago. About a year ago. So we found it a year ago. It looked nothing like what it does now. No. And what did you think when you first saw it after Justin's work? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. all right. So yeah. let's let people, come on right behind me, guys, and we'll keep talking. This is what catches your attention at the World of Wheels. You're one of one international, what year is it, 53? Yes. 53 international pickup, and even at that time, they don't look like this. Justin, what did you do to the front end of this to make this look like this? The whole front end is hand fabricated. Uh, we had it media blasted, and the front end was just garbage. So we hand fabricated the whole nose there, we hand fabricated the splitter there, the spoiler. Yeah. The grill is a 49 Ford. Okay, and this is just, I mean, over the top, fantastic. How, who kind of comes up with this as far as ideas? Bart, what, what, what was Justin telling you that he goes, I think I got an idea for this, and you're like, yeah, sure, let's try it. Do you, do you sketch it first? How does this happen? Yeah, he sketched them on a piece of paper, take a picture of it with his phone, send it to my phone, and we come in and talk. And he said, let's keep going with this. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Came and, up with four different renderings, and uh, that's what we picked. Beautifully done, guys. Beautifully done. And Justin, tell me about the color. What kind of color do you have here? The color here is a custom mix by Matrix Automotive. Uh, I'm an authorized sprayer for them, and we gave them the color that we wanted, and they custom made it the color for us. So we sprayed it on with a base coat clear coat. That's what we got. What kind of rims do we have here? The rims are hot rod by Boyd. Chris Connington cut them out. The backs are 22s. The fronts are 20s. 22s. Go ahead, sorry. We got 13 inch Willwood brakes on there, four piston in the back, six piston in the front. <laughs> wow. All right. And uh, Bart, tell me about this pickup. Well, first of all, let me give an overall shot before we talk about the wood in the back. But how did you come up with the fabrication, Justin, of, uh, of that back end there with the exhaust? Well, we were kind of trying to mix a custom with the race truck. So uh, we just started sketching and putting metal up there and we, we scrapped two ideas, but that's what we came up with. We actually built the rear end around the, the exhaust system and the tail lights are right in here. We flush mounted some tail lights and uh, painted over them so you don't see them until they're lit up. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's amazing. And tell me about the underneath. I'm gonna to try to do the best I can to get some of these videos of the differential and things. Sure. Yeah, we, the rear end's actually out of a 2002 WS6 Trans Am, so it's got a 410 gear in it. Uh, it's gonna run and handle real good. We narrowed it down to fit under this truck. The whole chassis is hand fabricated. We got dimple dies. Uh, it's basically set up to run. Mark, right, tell me about this wood. This isn't normal wood. No, so this is a Brazilian Jatoba cherry wood. <laughs> uh, comes from the uh, forest in Brazil. And how do you find this kind of wood? My brother-in-law works at an exotic wood company in Denver, Colorado, and uh, we were looking at a different wood. They had it, but they didn't have enough of it. So the owner took charge after we sent him a picture of the truck. He explored his whole warehouse and figured this is the one he thought would come up best, sent us the, a, a picture of it, and we agreed. Wow. So we fell in love with it. Yeah, no doubt. All right, just Justin, could you uh, open up the door for me? Who did the interior? This is tremendous. The interior is done by Harold Voss in Lansing, Illinois. Uh, we gave him a sketch of what we wanted and he nailed it right on the head. The leather's imported. The, we got a Mercedes carpet in there. Uh, low car shifter, Dakota digital gauges. It's, uh, it's all pretty nice. 
My goodness. Put your third with your left hand and grab that left knob. This one? Pull it out, yeah. That's the key. That's the key. That's the key. All right, thank God, because you scared the crap out of me because I pulled it out and I'm like, I just ripped this knob off. That's the key. All right. Yeah, I haven't wrecked anybody's car yet, and I was like, I, this is my first uh, one. We're gonna get, we're gonna get it on video. Wow, that is amazing. That's the key. Okay, and you've got air conditioning too in this. Yep, we got vintage heat and air. Uh, the pedals are built at specialties. We painted them, color matched them to the truck. Wow, amazing. Let's uh, let's uh, take a look under the hood. So here we've got the hood up, as you can see, obviously. Let me just show what that looks like from the front. So when you're walking up to the world of wheels, you see that. No wires, all smooth, drivetrain here. Holy we hand fa fabricated this to bring the cold in over the radiator nice. into the Str six Strombergs right there. Oh, that's great. It's a 383 with 700R4 trans. Uh, it makes it four something for horsepower. We got a March Performance pulley set up on the front. Just amazing. Guys, stand next to each other. Stand next to each other. So guys, first of all, thanks for being on My Car Story and uh, having one of the few trucks on My Car Story. It was that sensational, it was worth it. But Bart, you know, Justin shows you this and this is your first show. Yeah. This is your first show, so we're getting the exclusive video. And uh, tell me when, you, when Justin brought this to you and said, come on by, take a look at it, what was your reaction? Oh, we loved it. <laughs> we absolutely love it. We love it too. Hey, Justin, thanks for a great build, an amazing, amazing pickup. And Bart, thanks for sharing your truck with us. Thanks for talking with us. You're welcome. Pleasure.